All right, we are at the tail end of Douglas Oktoberfest. Has everybody had a great time today? Yeah. I hope everyone has been everywhere and done everything from stage B to stage C up to the trains, which Tony actually built one of them this year, over to the tricycle races, the soda jerks, the jank store. Douglas has a lot to offer. It's been great to see everything, that, the way that the community has pitched in this year. And, and I can't thank everyone enough who volunteered to help us out at this event. From the committee to the day of volunteers, everything has been absolutely wonderful. We couldn't have asked for a better day for the weather. And today we're going to get to celebrate Douglas's 275th birthday. All right, you don't turn 275 very often, so let's try that one more time. We're celebrating Douglas's 275th birthday. That's good, I thought. All right, excellent. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Kevin Morse to kick off this birthday celebration. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Thank you all for coming to yet another uh, successful Oktoberfest. Uh, nice to see a large crowd, especially after we had to cancel last year due to COVID. Uh, hope everybody had a good time. I uh, enjoyed all the activities and took full advantage of what our little town has to offer everyone. Um, primarily here to wish uh, Douglas a happy 275th birthday. And with that, I am gonna hand the mic over to our state Senator, Ryan Fabman. Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, wonderful to be with you all, especially after the year and a half that we've had. It's great to see so many familiar faces and be back in this mode of commerce and culture uh, that we're all so privileged to know in this great town and in our Commonwealth and country. I have a uh, citation from the Massachusetts House of Representatives and the Massachusetts State Senate um, congratulating the town of Douglas on its 275th year anniversary, and I'm going to read that. Uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts State Senate and House of Representatives official citation, be it known that the Massachusetts House of Representatives and State Senate extends its congratulations to the town of Douglas in recognition of the joyous occasion of the 275th anniversary of the founding of the town in Douglas. And be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate and House of Representatives extends its best wishes for continued success in all endeavors. The citation be signed by State Senator Ryan Fatman and Representative Joe McKenna. And without further ado, what all have been waiting for is Representative Joe McKenna, who is going to sing the town of Douglas happy birthday on its 275th anniversary. Joe, take it away. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Joe McKenna, and uh, I've had the, the distinct pleasure and honor of serving as state representative since 2015. And rain or shine, I'm thrilled every year to come out to Oktoberfest. And we've had some rainy ones, so I, I think it's a great thing that uh, this year, especially, where we're all itching to get out and out and about again after the last year and a half, we have such a beautiful day. This is bar none the best fall festival in the area always a blast to come out to and regardless of the Oktoberfest I, I, again I'm, I'm thrilled and privileged to serve as representative for the town of Douglas and in addition to the the citation that Ryan read we brought a proclamation from the governor of Massachusetts and it reads on behalf of the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts I am pleased to confer upon the town of Douglas this governor's citation in recognition of its 275th anniversary the second day of October in the year 2021 signed by Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito so that's certainly a, an honor to receive the the proclamation from the governor and I, I believe I was nominated to lead us in a rendition of happy birthday to the town of Douglas You're gonna sing I want people oh and he's got a microphone as well <laughs> so we, we've got a duet going so without any further ado for the 275th Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Douglas, happy birthday to you, hey! Thank you very much. Oh yeah. 
And at this point, we have a, an absolutely gorgeous cake that's been set up, and we're going to have a ceremonial cutting of the cake. All right, and right now I'm going to uh, introduce Lori Church from the Douglas Historical Society to, uh, to give away some prizes. Can we, uh, can we get a volunteer from the audience? We need a volunteer from the audience to go ahead and, and pick the, the winners. There you go. <laughs> yeah, all right, you are good. You get your hand up. Come on over here. You got it. That, that is a, a neatly trimmed beard. I appreciate that. Go ahead and hang out right over here. We're coming. <laughs> I can't wait to check my steps today. All right, Laura, you need a microphone. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being part of this fantastic, wonderful day. Um, so if you, I want to thank everybody. From the Douglas Historical Society. And our mission to help preserve the history of this great town of Douglas and to also preserve what we all know as the E.N. Jenks Store Museum. With your help and continued support, we can continue to maintain and preserve this great piece of history right here in our own downtown. My reason for being here is, I know a lot of you have been purchasing tickets, the tickets to our raffle. And I just want to go, I just want to let you know the three prizes. We're going to draw three times. So prize, the third prize will be if you'd all look over to the store on the second floor by the porch, this lovely lady, Ursula Levy, has spent weeks, months, <laughs> creating this seal of Douglas. It's crocheted and it's designed to hang on the wall. So that will be third prize. And for second prize, $275. And first prize, a weekend at Wallace Cove Cabins in 2022 over Memorial Day weekend. All right, I'm going to pick someone from the audience. And what I want them to do is spin the barrel and then we're gonna open it up and draw. He did? Okay. Keith has picked someone? All right. When the kids? All right, right here with the burgundy school shirt. All right. Can you see the handle on the side? All right, give it some spins. That's it. Oh, keep going, keep going. That's great. Uh, how about the other way? All right, that's good. So you see the opening to the barrel, all right? 
I want you to open it up, reach your hand in, dig right around in there, and pull out a ticket. So third place goes to Sarah Tooley. Sarah O'Toole. Sarah O'Toole, you have just won the crocheted seal of Douglas Mass. Okay, we need another one. Now is the lid closed? It's closed? Yep. All right, give it some spins. Okay. So open it up, reach in there. Frank Ideola. I A D O R O L A. Frank. Idarola. You have just won $275. All right, man with the bag. Okay, we're gonna spin it now, dear. Sweetheart, sweetheart, spin. Make sure it's closed, yep. Give it a spin. All right, dig in there. <laughs> the winner of a weekend at Wallace Cove Cabins in 2022 over Memorial Day weekend goes to Carol Gogolinski. <laughs> All right. I have one more drawing to do. In the store, we have filled a very sizable glass jar with an assortment of candies. And during the day, we were selling tickets and we we're gonna do a drawing and the winner gets this enormous jar full of candy. Did you bring me? Side. Makina. Ooh, it's a tough one. I'll spell it. C H I. You're kidding. All right. Come up here. Debbie, go get the jar. and say your name nice and clear. McKenna Chason. You are now going to be going to the dentist. <laughs> All right, we got about 15 minutes until we have our, uh, our, our marching band come over, perform in front of the main stage here and end the event for the day.
Uh, I will tell you, the uh, beer garden is almost out of beer, so if you're hoping to grab one, I would not wait. Uh, I don't know how the soda, how's the soda's doing? Really good. I don't know where he gets his loudness from, or, uh, <laughs> but my son, everybody, Liam Menard. Keep up the good work, soda jerks. We appreciate the, uh, the work over there. My wife keeping uh, tabs on Evan, Elizabeth, and Liam who've been working that soda jerk booth all day. If you ever want to hear a funny story, ask me about the, uh, the soda bar a little bit later. It's a long one. Anyway, again, I want to thank everyone for, uh, for coming out and participating in the event today. It's, uh, it's great to be back with everyone out in a beautiful open air event on a wonderful day celebrating Douglas's 275th birthday. I hope uh, everybody gets a slice of cake, some awesome food, and enjoys all the entertainment. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes to kick off the end of the event. Thank you very much.
man, they did an excellent job this year. I got to thank a lot of people, and I'm going to forget a lot of people. Uh, I want to thank all of our public servants from the Board of Selectmen to the police to the DPV, the DPW, whatever the initials are this time. Uh, I just I want to thank all the volunteers, and uh, I, I just I have to give a special shout out to our sound guy Bear from High Voltage Sound, and I want to thank all of you for coming out. Say it was. Uh, it's been a long uh, year and a half for for everyone, and I hope uh, that that we all really enjoyed getting uh, getting together as a community and welcoming others into our community. And we all really uh, we all really owe a a huge round of applause and and a huge debt of gratitude to Tony and Mary St. Pierre. Uh, who are over at the at the cake booth? So I know a lot of people think that uh, you know there might be like you know a committee of 20 putting this on. Uh, like I said, right now we have, we have four on, on the committee and and a whole bunch of volunteers who come out the day before and the day of and and we we literally could not do this without all of the volunteers uh, this year in particular. I put out kind of an SOS saying, hey, uh, if everybody wants this event to happen, we, we really need help on Friday with setup. We need help on Saturday with setup with manning booths and, and teardown. And we had a, a lot of people uh, who stepped forward, unlike uh, in any other year that I've seen, and said, yeah, I'm there to help. I can give you an hour. I can give you two hours. I can give you a day. And, and whatever it happened to be, uh, people stepped forward. And, and from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that, but uh, you know, again, Donald driving the train again for what's probably his like 25th year. Uh, that's how I started off was driving the train. That's that's really all I ever wanted to do. Somehow I, I wound up being up here, uh, telling people like Brianna Boyko, uh, I have your credit card, and I'm not afraid to use it. So, um, yep, it's been a long day. <laughs> Uh, so again, thank you very much to, to everyone, but uh, you know, a special round, if you see Tony and Mary, they, they truly are doing planning on this uh, you know, all, all year round. Tony built that train this year. Mary does, it works with all the vendors. This is the most vendors we've ever had at this event. It's, uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. We try to do something new every year. Uh, this year we had the Soda Jerk booth, we had the, the tricycle races. I hope everyone enjoyed the event, enjoyed what we, uh, what we, we tried to do to, uh, to bring it and, uh, and do something a little bit different each year. Uh, so again, thank you everyone. You got about five minutes to get done, everything that you want to get done. So soak up the last of this wonderful day in what is probably the best weather we've ever had for an Oktoberfest. Happy birthday, Douglas. You're looking good.